Welcome to week 3 of Sable's 12 weeks of AX 2012 email series. My name is Anthony. In this week we'll be taking a look at demand forecasting in AX 2012. This is not a standard feature of AX 2012, rather it is one of the solutions available through Sable's Icon AX add-on series. Demand forecasting is pivotal for organizations that require accurate and timely forecasts for making business decisions. Demand forecasting in AX 2012 expands on the deep functionality within the ERP all the while being fully integrated in AX without changing any of its core foundations. To accurately forecast demand, there are several components which need to be set up. However, in this example, I'll only highlight the key components and bypass some of the detailed functions so as to give you a brief overview. Demand forecasting has been built on algorithms. As you can see, in the top left here, we have approximately 10 system algorithms, all starting with the AUTO auto tag. You can select any of these to use, or if you prefer to build your own algorithm, you can do so quite easily by entering your algorithm into the algorithm box or simply selecting any of the variables from the variable table and dragging them into the algorithm box to create your algorithm. From here, we navigate to Demand Forecaster Journal. Under the Forecaster Journal, you see all your previous journals. We want to select New and then go to the Setup tab. Under the Setup tab, we need to enter a period. So we enter the month and also select the appropriate algorithm group or individual algorithm. Algorithm groups can be made of up to six algorithms, but in this case we'll just select an individual algorithm and we'll select the six month average. You can also choose to enable promotions or select the market and category hierarchy. These are both features which we haven't had the chance to look at today, however we'll do at a later date. From here, we select lines. And because we're creating lines, we want to go to the action pane and select create lines. Under the create forecast journal lines, we want to enter the appropriate item number. In this case, we're going to use items one through to six. And you can also filter via algorithm. In this case, we'll filter via weeks stock on hand and we'll enter the number 10. Anything less than 10 units, we will not see for that week. Demand forecast, I select the most appropriate algorithm and applied it to these four items. It gives a monthly breakdown. Click sales history. This gives you a deeper breakdown and analysis. We're also given a graph. And under the analysis, you can see the sales and journal lines. If you click forecast, you also get forecast as well. You can make any amendments under any of these. So for example, we change August and July to 25. And the change will also be outlined in the graph below. Always make sure you update your journal before you exit. Now under snapshots, we'll create new snapshots. Three journals are created, splitting it out based on rules down the bottom. And these rules are via county managers, and we have person B, C, and also the sales forecast. So we'll select lines. From the lines here, you can see the market values Asia Pacific, and we're given details on the breakdown per month as well, per item. You can change any of these. Now, any ones that you do that you do change, it is suggested that you enter a forecast change note so the next person who enters can see what why the change was made. And what's more, any changes that are made by a certain percentage or any rule previously defined will highlight in another colour to make you aware that change has been made. From here we'll close that. Now you can merge all three or simply post an individual one. We'll merge all three and we'll post them. Select OK and you'll be notified once they've been posted. And just close that. And from here we're going to navigate through to our general AX and we'll go to the product information management in AX 2012. From here we'll go to the common forms released products and we'll filter it by 
one of our products. In this case, we'll use product number three. Then just go to the plan tab and demand forecast. And we're presented with a detailed analysis of our demand forecast for this particular product. It gives us a date breakdown and amounts and so forth. This has been demand forecasting in AX 2012. Next week we'll be looking at Microsoft Office add-ins. You can expect to receive this in your inbox next week.